he met the one of the guys that was originally the drummer and told him that every time we saw Papa John's car drive by, we would yell, "Cut my life into pizzas!" Into pizzas? And they would and they would give us free pizza. <laughs> Never did it happen. <laughs> he thought that was freaking hilarious. Cut my life into pieces. Yeah. More importantly, Schnatter said the company's pizza just isn't the same since he's gone. Take a listen. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days, and it's not the same pizza. It's not the same product. It just doesn't taste as good. The way they're making the pizza, the way they're putting the pizza together, is just not fundamentally sound to what makes a Papa John's pizza a Papa John's pizza. Schnatter is no longer the company's largest shareholder. He's been selling off his stock over the last year. In the interview, he talked about, a quote, a day of reckoning coming in which the truth would come out about what actually happened. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Itchy Sweater Podcast. I hear voices in my head. <laughs> Is that why? Yeah, I saw that. I saw a little video. Started, uh, started thinking about the Viper. It says, Dad is back. Yeah, oh yeah. Isn't that what he said to Rhea? Daddy's back. Well, he said that to Paul Heyman, too. He said, tell, he said, tell uh, the tribal chief. Daddy's back. Daddy's back. Daddy's back. So I think we may have... As it seems, it seems like we're starting almost every episode with the WWE news. It, it seems like we may have a fatal four way. It's the only way to keep Mike interested. Okay, <laughs> we have to do this. Yeah, we have to. We have to start off with a little bit of WWE. The WWE. Tell me, <laughs> tell me that's not true. Tell me that's not true. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It's it's kind of it, weird. It's. Cody, it's just two kids in the pool. One of them just barely got his head above the water swimming. It's Cody Rhodes. Oh, yeah. And then Grandma's over there playing with Jinder Mahal, standing out of the water. And yeah. then down at the bottom of the ocean is L.A. A. Night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as a skeleton. Dead, wow. Buried. Wow. No longer existing. He is honestly... I, I, I hoped it wouldn't happen, but it, it's happening. He's barely relevant. I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not. I thought they would at least put the, uh, the U.S. title on him after that. Yeah. And it's looking like yeah. that's not even a thing. So I, I don't know. That sucks. Dude, it's, it's typical WWE. They're, I mean, we've referenced it so many times. Mm -hmm. They screwed Sammy. Yeah. Uh, they screwed L.A. Knight. Mm -hmm. uh, they screwed uh, Jay Uso. Jay Uso. There we go. I mean, this is, dude. It's getting ridiculous. It's over and over and over. And it's over and over and over. What's weird is that we have hints of The Rock mm -hmm. most likely headlining WrestleMania, which is not weird to say. But against Roman Reigns, and he'll probably lose. Oh, for sure. I just... And I think it should be... Now Now things are getting even weirder. Because now there's like this fatal four-way rumors. Uh, you were talking about rumors. This, yes. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, well that no, really... It's not, a, it's not a rumor. Or happening. Yeah. But that really screws things up, because I thought... You would have Cody Rhodes win Elimination Chamber, which would put him on the road back to a Roman. Because I thought that's what the plan was. I thought the plan was to always put, to always get Cody to WrestleMania 40, and he win the championship. Now I don't know. Oh, yeah, because and I they thought, screwed him too. Yeah, and I thought that Cody wins Elimination Chamber, The Rock and Roman have a title belt, uh, title match, The Rock loses, and then um, Co uh, Roman Reigns walks into WrestleMania 40 looking like a demigod. But... That doesn't seem to be the plan, and now I'm not sure what's happening because you have this fatal four away, and it's like if you you cannot take the title off of Roman without him getting pinned, that would be no, weird. No, it, it would be very not very uncalled for, but it wouldn't be correct. Mm -mm, not at all. Not with the history you're trying to play out with this no, thing. No, I mean you want that person. One, two, three. Yeah, and, and the pop, insane. It, it would be nuts. 
and I'm thinking CM Punk wins the Rumble. Yeah, to yeah. get to you, you, Seth, you almost. <laughs> <sighs> okay, yeah. Let me start with this. It's mind-boggling. The Fatal Four Way is Ra- Roman mm-hmm. versus this new weird kind of bad attitude, badass AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. He's versus turned heel. Randy Orton. Yeah. Versus L.A. Knight. Yes. So I like that they're having L.A. Knight still there in the background a little bit. Yeah, like I he's still, still barely like relevant. It. Yeah. But they fucked it up. They, fucked they really up did. So they bad. dropped the ball hard. The pop for him would have been insane. Yeah. Um. So, yes, you, that's, that's the fatal four-way. I do not see Roman losing. I really don't. No, I mean, not at all. And if he does... They have completely fucked that whole storyline. I don't know how, because not neither one of them are part of the the, the story really. No, no, none of them are really a part of that story at all. Yeah, and so and like you said, Seth and CM Punk have their storyline, which mm-hmm. is true, is not true, is true, is not true. I can't I think tell. that's guaranteed to happen know. at WrestleMania. I think that's night um, one for sure. I and unfortunately. <laughs> He's probably gonna win. I mean, yeah, of course. I don't. I'm not like most of these guys that have bad blood, especially Mike. <laughs> I don't I, like I, CM Punk for uh, out I of ring reasons. I yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I like his character. Yeah, I love his character. He's great. Mm-hmm. Phil Brooks is amazing. Sorry, CM Punk is amazing. Yeah, Phil Brooks is a complete douchebag. Or as Mike calls him, Brooke. <laughs> Phil Brooke. <laughs> he just calls him Brooke. Brooke. He's. <laughs> He's not a good person outside the ring. Like in the backstage area, he just—I don't know if it was something about AEW or Mm -hmm. him being a complete badass or what, but he did not have that respect there. Nope. And maybe him coming to WWE, they respect him there. I don't know. I think there's some historical respect, but I just as he is now, I'm not sure. I can't tell. Yeah, I can't. I can't really tell either. He's probably gonna win. Everybody will go crazy. Yeah. I, I don't I don't see why Cody couldn't just go with Seth. I don't know. Well, I also think that Shinsuke should have won against Seth. Really? Yes. Why? I think the storyline that they had was strong. <laughs> I think... Oh, the... Yeah, I know. Yeah, and they, how they turned Shinsuke into like this, uh, you know, anime villain. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. It made Shinsuke more of a character. Um, him speaking in Japanese made him look more threatening because him trying to speak English was like, mm. <laughs> so like him actually speaking his native language. It made it. He he was way more convincing. He looked more like he was actually, you know, into his character and what he was doing. And I think Shinsuke coming back after as long as he you know was gone. And having a uh, heavyweight run would have been good, and also would have been good for other uh, other people backstage to make their run too. And you would have had this feud with Seth kind of going in and out. And I, I, I just think I just think it would have been better off with Shinsuke on it with the belt for a little while. Even I, if, even if Seth won it back, yeah, having Shinsuke with the belt for a little while would have been cool. I'll be completely honest. <clears throat> I like because I also how do I put this. I like when I can understand people. <laughs> I don't like the fact that like it, you I, had to read I would, subtitles. I would I would love to have read subtitles if the subtitles would work. Uh, yeah, but one they don't. <laughs> yeah, because it because what I get on my TV is speaking Japanese in quotations. Oh really? Yes. You didn't get the like the words. I, I don't get words. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. And I turned it on the TV. Oh, the TV settings. No. So yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. So, uh, I I don't, and I have a thing against speaking Japanese. That's I, funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing against movies doing that, especially like uh, what was it, Glorious Bastards? Mm-hmm. Hyped the movie up. Everybody hyped it up. Went to watch it. All I did was read the whole time, and I'm like, "Well, this sucks. <laughs> I didn't come here to read a book." <laughs> yeah, I, I think. I, I I thought I thought the subtitle thing was universal. I, I I don't understand how they haven't figured that out yet. It's like it's like Bluetooth and cars. Why yeah. isn't Bluetooth and cars is like better than it than it? Than it than, that's weird. I think it should like universally work. 
I, I don't know. Mine oh, come just, on. Mine just said speaking Japanese. That's awful. And I was like, oh, oh, my okay. God. Well, yeah, you wouldn't like it. I wouldn't yeah. like it either if it was just saying speaking and, Japanese. And the same thing with Asuka. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. Except Something's... when she does her English. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I like them both. That's wild. I like the anime villain thing. I do think it's cool. Mm -hmm. But, man, I feel like Shinsuke's time has come and gone. Well, it has now. I, I, I really do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just... He was cool when he was at NXT. Mm -hmm. He was cool when he came through to the main roster. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't feel like he's really relevant anymore. To be, Even if they gave him the belt, I don't feel like he would have yeah. been. I feel like that would have been a Jinder Mahal thing. Yeah. When Jinder Mahal was the champion. Yep. It was kind of like, a, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> it was, that was, that was kind of weird. I mean, he, he was a, definitely a villain. He was a heel. 100%. And... He was just a dick. Like, nobody liked him. Yeah. So we were like, oh, we don't want you to have the belt anymore. Kind of like what we're doing with Roman right now. Yep. But I could say, I guess half of us are split on it. People like Roman. People don't like Roman. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go grab that Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're still thinking about I'm it? still thinking about it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, well, because I had, I've changed, I changed my diet up this week. Okay. And I'm starting to eat, like clusters mm. like peanut butter nut and chocolate like dark chocolate clusters okay. in yogurt okay and now i'm like i want fried foods oh man give me something yeah but um that's besides the point sorry <laughs> um off topic would have been a great podcast name um but yeah i i i don't know even if cody goes to roman and i mean if they headline them two years in a row you know cody's gonna beat them I, I he would, has to. I would bet a million dollars that I don't have Yeah, that he beats him. Why would you set him up to fail twice in a row? Uh, for, exactly. And this is why The Rock being there is really weird to me. Because if The Rock headlines WrestleMania, The Rock shouldn't win. Mm -mm. But Roman should drop the belts at Mania. So I'm, I'm thinking... They can't headline WrestleMania. That has to be an Elimination do, Chamber thing at Perth. Do we know how many days he is until he's like second place or whatever? To is Hogan? He close? He's close to Hogan. I'll have to look it up. If he if he if he, if he wins WrestleMania um, again, I think he is right behind, if not tying Hogan. So he's going to beat the number four Bruno San Martino oh. at 1237. Ooh. So he'll beat that. Uh, oh, damn. Even Hulk that's Hogan, too long. Wasn't Hogan like five years? 1474. <laughs> okay. And no one should hold the belt that long. Because even that's Dude, a mistake. Oh, my God. I, didn't, I thought Hogan was second. Oh, he's not? Bob Backlund. Oh, Backlund? Backlund was 2,135 days. Well, this is also five longest world title reigns in WWE history. Okay. I don't know when this was. We this need was to, published June 3rd, 23. We need to stop this this championship Backlund? run stuff. Really? Yeah, we need to stop this. And then the utmost ridiculous mm -hmm. record, mm -hmm. <coughs> which was, fuck, which was like eight years. Who's that? 2,803 days, Bruno San Martino. Oh, him again. He's number one. Nobody will ever beat that. No, no one should beat that. The near eight-year title reign. Mm, screw 1963 that, 1963 to 1971. And the difference is, you know, <laughs> you know how I am about, like, the old day stuff. I don't like reminiscing and, like, romanticizing the past. But I will say that the difference is those champions were most likely working day in, day out. Because those are the old days of wrestling. Oh, dude, they had to make that paycheck. Yeah. So with Roman Reigns being as like we're seeing him like three times a year, and that's annoying. And I I I, I need I need a champion who's gonna did, who's gonna be there like Seth Rollins. Did he say during his well, let's say in the past ten years? Mm -hmm. Did he ever give Brock Lesnar crap about being part time? I know he spoke about it at least once. Yeah. What are we doing here, guys? And Seth Rollins uh, kind of clowned Roman when he won the heavyweight championship. He was like, we need a champion who mm -hmm. is more than part-timing in politics or something exactly. like that. And it was just like, 
Yeah. Dude, I even loved when John Cena, even when he wasn't uh, heavyweight champion. Yeah. When he was U.S. When he champion. he was Super Cena. <laughs> even when he was just U.S. champion. Yeah. The dude made titles relevant. Be there every day. Defend your fucking title. Like, yeah. I don't even care if you cut, like, cut a promo. No. I just want you to show up. <coughs> like, I, 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 like, I like a champion who isn't, who even when they're not wrestling, they're still talking crap. They're still back there cutting promos. They're still talking about oh, how they're the best. Of course. I'm the tribal chief. I'm the head of the table. Out yeah. there just talking shit. Just be there. Roman can do that, too. And Roman can be then can do that. Like he 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 has he is one of the best on the mic. Oh, he's at this point, right like the, now, the, the, the way his character has developed, being being behind I respect Heyman, that. I think that helped. I think that helped a lot. Heyman can turn anybody into something you know phenomenal. He did it with CM Punk. He did it with Lesnar, and he's doing it with with uh, Roman. You know, the only person he didn't really make relevant, Curtis Axel. Oh, I forgot about yeah, I forgot about Curtis Axel. Yeah, he was an Intercontinental Champion, but that was it. Yeah, I forgot about Curtis Axel. I remember it. this was his taunt. He was like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I remember that, but it was just so clear. I was like, this is the stupidest thing ever. Like yeah. he gets in the ring, has the belt, and just, ah, ah. <laughs> I gotta find it now. Let's talk about but a little a little playoff review. Let's there, talk Derek. about a little playoff review. Um, this is going to come out next week, but I will say this: these current two playoff games that w- that I have watched, uh, which have been the Texans and the Browns mm-hmm. and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. Tonight we are going to have the Steelers and the Bills and Green Bay and the Cowboys. Right? I think. Or is that so? I think. Um... I think Bills got moved to Monday. Oh, they oh they did get moved to Monday. Yeah, tonight because we actually have weather. Detroit and LA and we have Green Bay and Dallas. So, um yes, Pittsburgh and Buffalo is Monday as as well as Philadelphia and Tampa Bay. Uh but yeah, getting moved to weather is kind of weird because it's just going to get worse. Mm-hmm. But I do I did see the I did see the snow. Did you see the snow? Oh, I did. Okay. I did. So uh, I get it. Uh, during the uh <laughs> especially during the um Hold on, I'm looking for the Curtis Axel thing. I want to find it real quick. <laughs> I got it. I got the, the entrance. Oh, you got the entrance. Oh, oh yeah, he's got the he's right. got the jiggle, right. arm jiggle. Oh. Heyman's clapping. I mean, dude, he would look really good. Like he could wrestle. Yeah, he was he's really got the, good. He's got the pecs. Oh, got a little little got neck crack. crack. The neck. Oh, a little what? Le- ah! <laughs> 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 I think I think that's when Lesnar got it. Because Lesnar came in with like the little jump. And then the kick, ah, like the uh, um, he was doing that before Ray him. Lewis, yeah, <laughs> the Ray Lewis, the Ray Lewis kick, ah, oh, man, now I got to turn this off. Copyright reasons, <laughs> um, <laughs> copyright, copyright, copyright. Uh, but as from what I have seen, I I was anticipating good games, and I got blowouts. <laughs> I was anticipating competition, so and I got ass whooping. Let's talk about because there's going to be a reoccurring theme with these. These games that we're going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. First game was the Browns versus the Texans. Exposed. I was going for the Texans. It, I was too. And, and this is probably your reason as well. It's mainly my reason, for sure. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to vote for a NFL team in Texas, mm-hmm. I'm rooting for the Texans. Oh, 100%. I am not rooting for the Cowboys. Oh, 100%. What's his brother's name? Oh, uh, Andre. Andre. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, brother. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Does he listen? Uh, Do you I, I think every now and then. On him? Yeah. I, I, I he's kind of an inconsistent listener. But. Tell, and listen, Andre. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I just can't. Why would and I it's not the your fault. It's not. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's not even it's the fans' your, fault. No. Not entirely. It's, it's partially the fans' fault. Partially, but not entirely. It's not Andre's fault. No. It's Brian Dimke's fault. <laughs> it's Andy Maya's fault. Yeah. It's Dak being Dak's fault. Yeah. It's Jerry's fault. It's Jerry's fault. 100%. It's those damn cheerleaders' fault. It's those cheerleaders' fault, too. Damn you, VH1, for making a show about them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. The Cowboys mm-hmm. have been an issue uh, the same reason Philadelphia has been an issue. Philadelphia even more so because it's mainly Phillies fans. Why I don't like the Eagles. <sighs> It's partially yeah. Dallas' fans why I don't like Dallas, yeah. but there's a little bit more history there. 
but you, you gotta what we're gonna see that this is this is the playoffs for being exposed mm-hmm. a lot of teams are getting exposed right now the Browns got exposed for having a streaky oh, quarterback saying, dude, oh, Flacco's the second coming of God. Bring it, bring it in. Let's talk about this. Yeah, one. let's talk about it. Because Flacco got exposed. Flacco did get exposed. Yeah. Flacco, but I give Flacco all the credit, though. Mm-hmm. Flacco came, even said, hey, I was just watching TV. He did ball out. And came and balled out. He dude, did ball out. Dude, got them to the playoffs. I give him credit for that. Great. You know, hey. Because they... Yeah, shout out, shout out Flacco. Shout out Flacco. Because the Browns basically had the same quarterback luck that the Niners did last season. It was just like quarterback after quarterback, Quar- after quarterback, quarterback being carousel, injured. baby. Yeah, and I was just like, Ooh, this is not good. Except and then, their fourth string quarterback didn't fuck them. Yeah, and your boy got, got all that guaranteed money without having to play. Good for you, Deshaun. And what they got was karma. Yo, yes. Because you you trade all that draft capital to the Texans mm-hmm. just to get Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. They even got picks for next season. Oh, yeah. I and think they the came in there and too. destroyed you. So, and that's the thing I wanted to talk about was one of the reoccurring themes is players coming back to old teams. Yep. This this first week, this wild card, super wild card weekend. Sorry. Yeah. You got Deshaun Watson coming back to the Texans. Yeah. Now, I don't even know if they showed him. I don't even know if he was there. I don't. Well, he was, definitely I, wasn't there. I don't remember seeing him. He wasn't there on the sideline for I know. But they got their asses whooped. Yeah, and it would have been a little bit more satisfying if Deshaun Watson was yeah, playing. It was. But, <laughs> but it would have been nice to see Joe Flacco mm-hmm. go to Baltimore and possibly beat Baltimore. Yeah. That would have been amazing. If they won off of that play, mm. I would have been like, yeah, Baltimore is going to destroy him. Mm-hmm. Because... That was not pretty. Like, their defense didn't even look good. No, their defense. And Browns have dude, one of the best defenses the in the Texans league. Texans got two pick sixes. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I don't I don't know how many times I've heard of two pick sixes in a game. The Texans never even the Texans never even looked that good during the regular season. No. They came in there like that was a different Texans. Like I was I was like, oh, the AFC yeah. South is about to be in trouble. They, they have earned my respect. Dude. Yeah. Like I, I will, like if people are like Man, let's buy jerseys this year. I'll buy one from them. Oh, Texas I, I'm, I'm, them, I will get a CJ Stroud I, jersey. I would give them my my money. Yeah, hundred percent rookie rookie of the year, oh, offensive sure. rookie of the year, one hundred percent. Oh, for sure. Even if they didn't get to the playoffs, uh, He's still, offensive rookie of the year, still the rookie. Of the yeah, year. like CJ Stroud has been ridiculous, dude. And and the AFC South is about to be crazy. I got to play that team twice a year. Mm. That's no no thank that, you. That's your like, team. I forgot about that. <laughs> or your division. Yeah. So hopefully AR five balls out next season Man, when I, he comes back. I would love to uh, see what he can do. It would be great to see CJ Stroud versus AR five. Uh so but next game. My God. <laughs> next game, Kansas City and the Miami Dolphins. Miami looked like a high school team. Miami did not look good. That was atrocious. And and what the happened, Chiefs didn't even look great. What happened to fuck it, Tyreek's down there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. And they got Waddle back. And Waddle. Played. Waddle was back. Did you see? And that, neither one of them was open. Did you see that the kicker <laughs> slipped on uh, one of the one of the kickoffs? Yeah, he did. I couldn't, dude. I understand. I understand not playing because of weather reasons. Mm-hmm. But if Buffalo is going to move their game to a different day, why couldn't they have moved this game? Because Kansas City would have been just as bad. Or Miami. It's about the city? No, no. I'm talking wait, like move it to a, either a, I don't know, even a high school field in the Midwest. Oh, you're somewhere. talking about a different field, or or move it to a different day. You know why they didn't? Why? Because Kansas City has because it's big, scripted. Well, well, no, well that's that might be part of it. <laughs> but Kansas City has these really big generators underground that actually heats the but it field. Didn't do anything to it? But it well, it made it not as bad as it looked. Uh, cause that was not as, it wasn't as icy as it could have been. The only part that was like super, like pretty much just pure ice was, was Andy Reed's mustache. That and, <laughs> and the, uh, right end zone, dude, the I right corner end zone was all ice. It. Yeah. But you could tell where there were ice patches on yeah. that field. So and they said that ball was, oh, it was a rock hard. Oh yeah. That's why I'm like, it, that's not fair. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm also partial against the Kansas City Chiefs. I can't stand Yeah, them. I don't like them either. I, I, I wish they lost that game, but like Miami looked and we're gonna atrocious. Talk, oh, we are, are going to talk about them. I'm going to bring atrocious. them up. Atrocious. 
Miami looked horrible. Miami looked they could they they could barely get a first down. And any time that a receiver was open, we wouldn't know because <laughs> two was getting and, sacked. And and the weird thing is is well, I guess it's not weird, but one of the things I kind of found weird was Mike McDaniels said, do or die, I'm riding with Tua. Yeah. You guys couldn't do anything last night. And I blame I blame Tua's line more than I blame Tua. Oh, no, I definitely blame Tua's line. I, 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 I was wrong. like, whoa. I blame not having Jerome Baker, one yeah. of the linebackers, who was out for the rest of the year with like an arm injury. Mm-hmm. Um, Their defense was just awful. Did, did you see the injury list? Oh, yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, Bradley Chubb. Bradley yeah. Chubb's another one. Yeah. I was like, wow, uh, you I, are missing an entire line. Yeah. <laughs> you that was like the everyone. was it the Niners last year, the year before when they had like almost everybody yeah. out. Baltimore was like that last season. season. They were they were running backs were all were all out. Yeah. And I was like, this is <sighs> this is bad. Right. But to play that awful? It was bad. It was ridiculous. God. Now, some may Oh, and, say, and sorry Kiara's dad. Oh. He's a Miami fan. Oh. Sorry, Dad. Uh, but <laughs> they they some may say that the reason they won is because Taylor Swift was swag surfing. <laughs> swag surfing on them bitches with Mama Kelsey and with yeah. what's her name, Mahomes. Uh, Brittany or something Brittany, like that. Brittany, I think it's Brittany. Brittany Mahomes. Yeah. They were swag surfing. Yeah, they were. They brought the energy to that <laughs> stadium. <laughs> Arrowhead Stadium was rocking, brother. <laughs> Yeah, Taylor Swift was looking all cute and bundled up yeah, with her red lipstick and her big old smile. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you get a resurgence? Damn it. It's all scripted. It's all scripted. <laughs> it's man. all scripted. I, but, believe, I believe the conspiracy theory about it. Oh, absolutely. Though. But again, the Chiefs did not look good. So whoever they play in the next round. Yeah. 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 They better be I, careful. I they better be careful. Um, next game to talk about was the Packers versus the Cowboys. That's tonight. McCarthy comes back to his original team. Yeah, three thirty p.m. McCarthy comes back. Um, the oh, now Green please. Bay is nine and eight Green for the season. Bay, my thing is, I didn't look at. I, didn't, I haven't looked at any of his stats or anything. But who I'll love tell you what? Jordan Love looks good. He had a good past two games. He looks very good. Yeah. Build around that guy. And I think Green Bay can be contenders again. Unfortunately, Rodgers, I think, really screwed their... uh, Oh, with the past two years? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think they could have made way better moves when it comes to drafting and and trading, things like that, if Rodgers wasn't waiting until the last minute Mm -hmm. to say what he wants to do. I think in the was it the off season? Me and you were saying we were like, dude, Green Bay is gonna be completely different. Yeah, it's gonna look different. It's gonna feel different. Yeah, and it did. Yeah. Now, granted, their defense really didn't change at all. They mm-hmm. still look phenomenal on their defense. Yeah. But once you get that ball turned rough. over, you gotta do something with the ball. You gotta do something with the ball. So Green Bay's biggest problem has been not getting points. Yes. <laughs> So I'm hoping, I am hoping that Green Bay can pull it off today. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting if if Green Bay shows up the way that they showed up the last the last week that it took them to get here, the last two weeks that it took them to get here. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be competitive, and they might even win if if Dak is doing Dak stuff. Who's the other game? Oh. The big storyline, Los Angeles versus Detroit. Oh, oh. In Detroit, Matthew Stafford oh. comes back to Detroit, Hold baby. On. Hold on, but did you hear the ban going on? Uh-oh. They are banning oh. people oh. from wearing oh. Matt Stafford jerseys. Oh. <laughs> Detroit Stafford jerseys. Everybody said, don't do it. But uh, you know what? I was listening to the radio Wednesday or Thursday. uh and I found the sports radio for Austin. It's 1027. Ooh. Uh, y'all owe me some credit here because I shouted you out, motherfuckers. Oh, he shouted you out. Yeah, shouted you out. Shout out Kyle for shouting out. Yeah. <laughs> shout, baby. Shout out Kyle for shouting out. Uh, <laughs> so they were talking about it and they were saying, you know, do you... The man put up however many years... 13. ...with Detroit. 
pretty much his entire career. His almost <laughs> his entire career. He had om- he had threw his shoulder out, broken ribs, fingers. Yeah, I mean, getting just battered just back there. One of the toughest son of a bitches out there. Man. Yeah, like a kind of like Andrew Luck before Andrew Luck was Andrew. Yeah, Luck. and you know, do you? Is it disrespectful to wear that jersey? To no, the I think game? it's paying respect. I would say it is. Yeah. <clears throat> People were apparently 46% saying no, it's not disrespectful. 50 What is that? 54 or what's math? Math, yeah, you I know, know. So whatever the math. other number yeah, is. Me, me and you uh, shouldn't do this podcast. No, we, we suck sh- at that we, stuff. We, Don't ask me about math questions. Anyways, <laughs> the other side of the spectrum <laughs> yeah. uh said that I'm just going to round it up to 50-50. Yeah, yeah we're just going to say 50-50. <laughs> Half of them said it was cool. Half of them were like, "Don't bring that garbage here." Yeah. And so I guess people have been saying during this weekend that there were reports of people ripping Stafford jerseys off of people, hmm. pulling them off of people, hmm. and being like, you can't wear that here, hmm. the tailgaters. Hmm. <laughs> but it's, You know what I would do? I would wear a Rams Jared Goff jersey. <laughs> there you go. Hey! <laughs> So uh, that's that's the exact thing I came up with. Yeah. Was well, why is it disrespectful for that? So does that mean that I'm going for the Rams? Well, if I am, yeah. then let me do the same thing. Then let like me you do said. the same thing. Let me let me wear Goff's jersey for the Rams. Absolutely. Right. And when then they made if that transition like, from St. Louis to LA. Wait, wait a minute. You can't wear that shit. And you yeah, say, yeah, no, yeah. fuck that. Exactly. I'm supporting my quarterback. Exactly. You want to buy Jared me a Goff, Goff jersey? Baby. I you, still, it's still a Goff jersey, you, just different colors. You want to buy me a Goff jersey? Buy me a Goff jersey. Go get it in the shop. Go get it in the shop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I felt like clapping for. I don't know. It sounded great. <laughs> it's an gr- inspirational speech. <laughs> but yeah, but like I, th- there's there's a lot of history here. There is. Golf came from Los Angeles. They traded to Detroit. Him. Detroit or Stafford came from Detroit to L.A. Mm-hmm. L.A. wins a Super Bowl yeah. that same season. Yeah, and Golf is not looking great. You know, but the past. Like the past, like that. I think the first two or three years, golf was in Detroit. We were like, "Ugh, not looking great." I think it's been, but they were showing splashes of yeah, it. Two, three years, yeah. They were showing splashes of greatness. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. like last season when oh, yeah. they beat Green Bay for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> they, they were showing. It was splashes. like, wait a minute, who are these guys? Yeah, they they're were showing not splashes of greatness. And then out of nowhere, they get Laporte. This season, tight end. yes, they've been looking they, phenomenal. They get, I think his name's Jack Campbell. Yes, that linebacker. And Dan Campbell, and Dan as a coach, Campbell. has been phenomenal. I love him. I love Dan Campbell. How can you not root for Dan Campbell? He's really good. He's a great guy. So there's that game as well. Yeah. I am hoping that Detroit wins. I am too. I would love to see Detroit I, advance I, the next round. So this my, is the first time in 30 years that they've even seen this. Oh yeah. Uh But my pick. <laughs> oh wait, no, we got to talk about the other one. What's the other one? What's the one that got moved? Bills and who? Oh, Bills and uh, Steelers. Bills and Steelers. That could be a good There's one. There's another reunion that, that I'm good probably one. not thinking of. Somebody that went from the <laughs> practice squad to the other practice squad. Well, I don't Mike know. Tomlin just saved his career. Mike Tomlin now has the privilege that a lot of coaches didn't have this season of being able to sit down and decide whether or not he wants to stay. Really? Because the Steelers don't have – because this is the end of his contract. Oh, really? So the Steelers don't get to just be like, no, we're moving on. Mike Tomlin gets to sit down and say, I decide – where I'm going to go. I decide if I want to retire or I decide if I want to come back because I just took you to the playoffs when the season looked fucking hopeless. And he is he is once again not had a losing season. I didn't even know they were in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> they had to get lucky again. See, the, the Steelers... <laughs> One, 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 one thing, there, there are three things that are, that are you know, 100% guaranteed, guaranteed in life. Mm-hmm. Death, taxes, and the Steelers being in the playoffs. And the Steelers <laughs> being average. Yes, because a miracle happened last season for them to get in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. And not as much of a miracle happened this season for them to get the playoffs. They had to win, and the Colts and the Texans had to not tie. And they didn't. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's it? Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> but freaking Green Bay got in with a nine and eight record, so hey, they were positive. And record. the freaking Bucks got in, so mm. you don't have to be a great That's team to get game. in. Yeah, Buck, Bucks and uh, Eagles. You don't have to be great to get into the to the playoffs. To the playoffs, just, no. You just have all. to be not as terrible as Carolina. Oh God! 
So, <laughs> yeah, no, we've got uh, Steelers, Bills. Obviously, Bills probably have to take that immediately. Yeah. Uh, and then you got I Philadelphia hate. and Tampa Bay at 7.15 p.m. on Monday. Philly and Tampa. Yeah. I think – I don't think Philly gets exposed that game. I think I think Philly wins. Yeah, I, me too. I think they do. Yeah. I, it, you know, Baker's doing great. Baker's been doing good for the Buccaneers. Yeah. Mike Evans has another 1,000-yard-plus season. Yeah, which is I wild. Mean, <laughs> they only, can play. Only thing that would have made it better is yeah. if playoff Lenny could make another playoff Lenny uh, appearance. Yeah, yet he's on. I don't know where he's at now. I thought he went to the Bills. I thought he went to the Bills too. Um, I think it is on the Bills. We about but, to see uh, playoff Lenny against the Sealers. I hope. <laughs> I would hope. But, but um, that's our that's our uh, six games, man. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a, an action packed. It's already been an action packed weekend. We're gonna see some really good ones tonight. And tomorrow it should be some pretty good ones. I'm obviously I'm going Packers. I'm going Lions. Yeah. Uh, Bills and Steelers. I don't really care. I w- um. I'd love to see the Bills get in and then go finally beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. That's that would be I, phenomenal. That's what I my scenario for them would be. Yes, I hope so because uh, they showed them up this week this season. Yeah. And so then Buccaneers and the Buccaneers. Yeah. Okay. I, I I like Green Bay versus Dallas. I don't think they'll win, <laughs> but, but I hope they will. Yeah, I like Detroit versus LA. I think Detroit's going to win that. I like uh, Buffalo versus Pittsburgh. I think Buffalo's going to win. I think it's going to be tough, though. Yeah, I can see that. And I think uh, Philly's going to win against yeah. Tampa Bay. I don't even think that's going to be really much of a competition. I don't. Th- well, here's my only thing that I'll say about that game. Jalen Hurts apparently has not thrown a ball since he fucked his oh, finger Oh, I forgot his finger was effed up. And they did lose against the Cardinals. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot something else. Oh. Guess he's not playing. Oh. A.J. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so they might lose. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, ooh, it's looking bad. No, this is horrible. I'm it's sorry, looking- Diego. A <laughs> resident uh, oh, Eagle fan. Poor Eagles. Poor Diego. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> but then I, like yesterday, I wanted the Texans to Oh, that was another thing I was going to say. Uh-huh. Was the Texans and Browns game. Yeah. Joe Flacco and Demeco Ryans, last time the Texans were in the playoffs, uh-huh. Demeco Ryans was a linebacker playing against Baltimore where Joe Flacco was the quarterback. Really? Yes. Oh. So there was another little, like, reunion there. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> that is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, AJ Brown isn't playing, and Jalen Hurts has a fucked up finger, so. Well, the Bucks are looking a little bit better. Yeah, but not by much. Not by much. Yeah. So. I still think Eagles win by three. Eagles by three. That's an interesting number. Yeah. Uh, that would be, I don't know how that would, I don't know. I think it's going to be a low scoring game. 2023 Eagles. You know who I think could come make a comeback though? Who's that? Can you take me higher? Creek Creed comeback tour. Creed has been making a comeback. And have you seen pictures of Scott Stapp? I have. He's got short hair. Yeah, he looks good too. It's weird. Yeah, he's healthy, he's sober. He's ready to go. Now, was he not sober, I, which I, <laughs> I'm i believing is a thing because usually rock stars are drunk and yeah. whatever. He wasn't sober most of his time in Creed. Really? Yeah. He w- he had a, a a problem with alcohol. And is it the same members? Original members? Yeah, I think they're bringing back everybody. No shit. Th- yeah. Because the other members besides Scott just went on to go and play for Alter Bridge. Did they really? Yeah. No way. And they basically just made Creed 2.0. <laughs> so, hey, but Alter Bridge is Alter Bridge is good. Dude. Isn't that yeah. Edge's? Isn't that that? Yeah, like yeah. Edge's Edge, uh, friend. Judgment Day. Um, they 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 use their music. Yeah, yeah. and Edge uses the uh, whole. Um, I see clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is Creed Two Point Yeah, and Edge was like, "Hey, can I use the song?" And they were yeah. like, "Sure." And right, and he got the rights right before it yep. got big. That's On insane. this day. <laughs> I see clearly. He comes out, yeah, yeah, come on. I love that he gets to use <laughs> that in AEW. Yep, that is pretty. Fun. They they just slightly changed the pitch a little bit. Did they? J- just slightly. But he owns the rights, so why would they have to change it? Well, you can tell that it's like it's slightly like pitched up a bit. Oh, yeah, it's not as like. I'll have to look at that. I yeah, know that. just slightly. 
it's barely it's barely noticeable. But you when, you, when you're listening to just the song, mm-hmm. you can hear it. But um, while while AEW is on, it comes out. You can't really hear it. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but, but Creed, they're coming back. Yeah. The, so I guess this started when the Rangers were in the playoffs mm-hmm. this uh past year, 2023. Mm-hmm. And shout out Rangers. Hey, yeah, shout. World Series champs. Yay baseball. <laughs> um, yay sports. <laughs> yay sports. <laughs> yay, sports. <laughs> yay science. <laughs> science. <laughs> uh, they actually apparently started this because they were in the playoffs. Wow. Oh. And they were all listening to, I had it up here and then I went into NFL stuff. God dang it. Oh my God. See, I'm always ready, but then it goes into <laughs> other things. Because we keep, we keep getting off track. We keep getting off topic. Uh, we're not even talking about all, our entire list we're this not, episode because we started with WWE. God dang it, we added stuff. We're gonna have to carry it on to the next episode. Why do we do the things we do? <laughs> what is going on? This is how we do it, baby. We make a list we and just, we don't follow we just it. Don't follow it. What's the point? <laughs> we just have to keep making lists because every time we make lists, we don't follow the list, and when we don't make lists, well, except for tier lists. Except for tier lists, we follow. Those. Yeah, we're the authority on that. We gotta uh, follow. Look those. at Scott Stapp, dude. Like, he looks great. Oh, they all look great. <sighs> He's got short hair. It's weird. Yeah. I would not be surprised if next year they did another Super Bowl. They better halftime show. They, they should have did it this year. They should have. <laughs> I don't. You know, I'm not. Ha- I'm. I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I'm not angry. Usher is Usher. Usher's Usher. And eh, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be bad. Yeah. But. Yeah. They, uh, the thing was, is that while da, 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 they won them a Grammy, blah, 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 uh, <laughs> blah, 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 Grammy, blah, blah, blah. Have, yeah, yeah, uh, left fielder Evan Carter, who was uh-huh. born in 2002. That's what they, I'm talking about. When that song with arms wide open came out. God, uh, making me feel old. <laughs> right. And revealed that the Rangers now have Creed related handshakes. <laughs> Creed related. So Corey Seager, Creed the shortstop. Related said it's something to bond over that's the hard thing about the teams right you have people coming in and out how do you gel how do you come together how do you fight for each other you find little ways on different teams and that's one of our ways creed the entire rangers universe seems to be on board with this uh earlier in the sports early in the postseason as the rangers were sweeping aside their overmatched Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, sweeping the nation that looked like you were fisting what the hell sweep i'm sweeping with one arm (laughs) This is me sleeping. I didn't see the side-to-side part. Oh, you just saw me doing that? <laughs> uh, while they the were sweeping them, their entire stadium took part in some Creed karaoke. Oh. And here is a clip. Oh, God. Oh. You turn it up, bad boy. You turn it Oh, I'll turn it up. This is a horrible, wow. This is a horrible clip, but it's the whole stadium singing Creed's higher. Oh, nice. Come on, let's go there. There it is. Ah, damn it. Buffer. I love it. God damn you. No, don't worry about it. It's okay. One more, one more. We'll listen to it again. Okay, that works. <laughs> yeah. So they were apparently, they came back because they all loved Creed for some reason, mm-hmm. which Creed's not a bad band, but for some reason they picked Creed to bond over. Hey. And now we've got Creed everywhere. I like Creed everywhere. Creed, <laughs> Creed lunchboxes. Creed underwear. Creed socks. I'm all for it. Creed Creedos. Listen, Creed 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 Creeds. Creed Creeds. <laughs> I was a big. I, I talked about this before. I was a massive Creed fan Dude, when I was younger. Same here. I, I had the albums. I had the greatest hits. Yes. I, I was. I was in the Creed. I, I kept it secret. Because oh, I knew I, there was people I hung out with who wouldn't appreciate it. I didn't give a shit. But I I, I kept it. <laughs> my, I kept it a bit of a secret for a while. My stepdad, uh huh, who had a very heavy influence on my life of music. Yeah, we knew like '90s rap and stuff from my mom, uh, some country stuff from my mom. That's all I knew. 
Then we moved down to Merced. Mm-hmm. Mom got with James. And whoa, here comes classic rock. Here comes alternative rock. Here comes all this stuff that I'd never heard of before. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, he used to go, and I know I've referenced this before, he used to go to this thing called the NAM show. Oh. Where it was this huge national American music something. It just sounds like national American music. And they would go, but I think it was like N-A-M-M. Oh, National American Music Museum, National American Music Convention, National American Music... Music? Uh, yeah, yeah, music, music. <laughs> Anyways, but at this convention, they would meet, because I think it was in, I want to say it was in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Or LA, one of those. Oh, yeah. They would meet, <laughs> uh-huh. you know, guitarists, drummers, mm. lead singers. I mean, he met one of the guys from the original guys in Papa Roach. Oh. I want to say it was the drummer, because he's a drummer. Mm-hmm. He met the one of the guys that was originally the drummer and told him that every time we saw Papa John's car drive by, we would yell, "Cut my life into pizzas!" It's pizza? And they would and they would give us free pizza. <laughs> Never did it happen. <laughs> he thought that was freaking hilarious. It cut my life into pieces. Yeah. So, um, but he would go to these places, and I believe I'll have to ask him. Uh, if I knew about this yesterday, I would have asked him already, but uh, I believe he has met either Scott Stapp or the original members there at that show. Interesting. And same thing. Greatest hits. The clay guy coming out from under the tree. Yeah. The guy crouching uh, my own prison, that mm-hmm. album. I mean, we listen to them all. Oh, yeah. Man. And I'll and you know what? It's I, I thought of it a while, kind of like how... Um, Nickelback was yeah maybe overplayed a little bit a little bit um only uh certain people liked them mm-hmm. you know but now as an adult I'm like fuck you fuck you yeah I'll listen to anything I want to can you take right. me higher <laughs> <Better> <laughs> to a place <laughs> where blind men see <laughs> uh, anyways but um, at the same time, though, I, I think too it was it was kind of the same thing with Nickelback, where it was like people who listen to Nickelback look like people who listen to Nickelback, and Nickelback. <laughs> do I do I look like? Well, no, it was it was the stereotype because you had guys who were like in the Affliction T-shirts and like oh, <laughs> with like the hoop earring and the, the, the black band. The, the Ed Hardy shirts, other yeah. things. Oh, so Lord. it was the stereotype of like the douchebag looking uh, uh, poser rock star, which is why I think a lot of that they got a lot of that hate because they had a, like a certain type of gr- group of people who listened to them. I I got a question for your comment there, bud. Okay, do I look like Chad Kroger? No, you don't. So so why do I look? like I said it was a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see your bottom half. Listen, listen, are you wearing camo? You don't know anything about what's going on right now, okay? You I don't can, need to know I can, anything about I don't see legs. I just see feet listen, and torso. I floated in. You watched me get out of my car and I watched you in. float here. So I can't see you. I, yeah. I can only see you. torso and feet. My eyes are up here. Cool okay. Down I'm here. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes. Ooh. Uh, I, lo- I love Creed. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know why that's I, my first thing I do. Every time I hear it, I'm like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Giggity. It's got a nice bass little it's sound just, to it. Like, mm, that, that end bass that just. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's uh, like a punch. Uh, <laughs> this has been H's Water Podcast. What the hell are we doing anymore? <laughs> are there people still listening to us? Absolutely. Oh, good. <laughs> but I would like to say make sure you follow, rate, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, What's the other one? Like, like, did I say that? Like, comment, like, like subscribe, comment, like, subscribe share, share, comment, comment follow, follow, rate, rate. Yeah, we got, we got uh, them all. You know, I got a good one for this. Oh, give me a good one. If you listen to us on YouTube, uh huh. Tell us what your favorite Creed song is. That did know, not work at all. I didn't know that. what to use for that. <laughs> I, I, I just maybe just the clapping. I don't know. Just, quit pushing buttons. You're pushing my buttons. I'm pushing buttons. Uh, let us know your favorite song, honestly. Podcast? Podcast.